Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we have a couple new items from Vosteed, starting off with the new Raccoon. So this one, instead of being a button lock, how it originally was in 14C28N, now it has a crossbar lock. Now, the one major benefit to this is going to be toughness. Button locks are known to fail. They're known to not do be as tough as it depends on the style of button lock, but the button locks with the plunges like this, are they tend to be known to not be that tough. You know, about 50% of them can fail pretty easily with a spine whack. However, crossbar locks are very, very strong. And the reason why is because you have a hardened steel bar being pushed up by two springs behind a hardened steel blade. So in order to fail it, you'd have to break that pin, which, you know, that's a nice thick pin. But yet, it's still going to be just as fidgety as the button lock. The only difference is instead of pushing, you got to pull down. The thumb studs on this is different than these ones. If you take a look zoomed in, this one, the thumb studs, the gripping around the thumb stud, there's only two, two spirals. And this one has three. So, and you can feel it. You can totally feel it. it. It has a lot more traction. You have a lot better placement. Also, the crossbar lock on this pokes out quite a bit. At first, I wasn't sure if I liked it. But I think I enjoy it because it just, it gives you um, great purchase. It, it's very grippy. It grips you back. And you will 100% get it every time without failing. So I'm glad it's not like inset and like hard to get to. The micarta, still good quality, decent micarta. Not the best micarta, but you know, it's decent. And then we have a deep carry clip, just like on the original, with flat screws that is reversible with a nice cover plate because it's a complete ambidextrous knife. That is one thing about crossbar locks is that they are 100% ambidextrous, so it's kind of dumb if you don't put an extra clip on there or a reversible clip because this is one knife that lefties can use just as easily as right-handed users. Now, the choil is even better than on the original. If you look at the, the – because this is a stone wash blade, by the way. So the choil, you can see where it starts, where it ends, starts, ends. They gave you a lot of life, so this is still a good one. But this is even better. Look at that life. Woo! It starts here, ends here. Look at all that life. Lots of sharpening. And then they changed it to a satin finish, which looks really, really good. And I'm glad that they did somewhat of a deep satin. It's not like so deep that you feel it, but I, I'm not a big fan of the very light satin finishes that like just take crazy fingerprints. This one is not that bad, and it, it has a good look to it. Now... I'm, uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I, I've, I think the raccoon's really cool. And now, you know, cause I know a bunch of people have had problems with their raccoons failing. So now you can get a raccoon that will guarantee not to fail on you. Now the Omega Springs, that is a thing. Sometimes they do break on knives like this, but they're pretty easy to replace. Let's check out this next item. So the next thing is that flashlight we talked about that they collabed with with Raylight. So Vosteed collabed with Raylight. It's a programmable light, and I think it goes up to 1,800 lumens. You can check out the back of it right here really quick. It goes up to 1,800 lumens, but the thing is that is that the, the light is a light that's supposed to not change the colors of the things you're shining the light at. So a lot of lights, they they don't give you the real color. Like right now, that is the actual color of the knives. Now I'm going to grab another flashlight and show you. See how this one kind of makes it turn kind of bluish or like lightish versus this? It's, it's just more natural. So while it's still nice and bright, it doesn't uh, reflect back you know, somewhat of a slightly different color. So that's pretty cool. And like I said, it's uh, programmable. So, and you have several different modes. And then also the inside um, glass right here glows after it's charged, like from the sun or from the light. I don't know if it'll pick it up or not, but it glows on the inside of there. I'm sure I'll, I'll throw in a, um, a quick shot of it. But yeah, it glows on the inside of there, which is cool. It, it does get warm and it is rechargeable. Let's check it out. 
So it's got a seal there, so you're not going to have to worry about moisture getting in there. And then the battery is rechargeable right there. So you just have to take the battery out, and then you can recharge it. This is an aluminum body, and they come in lots of different color options. Um, they sent this to me, so I did not pick the color. But it's the Vosteed Rook, an aluminum uh, flashlight, and I showed you all the specs. So, And then we have the new Raccoon with the crossbar lock. I'm loving it. Um, Vosteed's been... Uh, Doing pretty good work, you know. I know, like I, I know that people were having problems with uh, the the button lock failing on the raccoon, but let's be honest, uh, button locks across every company have been doing that. Um, there's only maybe I think one company that two companies that I can think of, which is the same company, where they weren't failing, um, and that was Civivi and Suncut. So, but every other company seemed like it was about a 50% shot of whether or not they were going to fail. Now there's other button locks out there that don't use plunge locks. So, you know, but it's just something that you kind of know already getting into a button lock that it's not going to be the most strongest lock. And, you know, I've even said that even though, you know, I've tested a bunch of them and spine whacked them and they haven't failed, you know, I still say it's not probably something that you want. Even this one, right? Rock solid lockup, you know, but if I smack it hard enough, it's going to fail just because of the way the lock is designed. But, you know, with just regular use, you're, you'll be just fine. But anyways, there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.